how was your time off the puff? Uh, I mean, fine. Like it's my, my, I mean, I'm definitely a fucking addict with it. And then when I come off, I'm like, oh, I'm not an addict because, you know, I focus on something else. I can, uh, you know, I exercise heaps more. I feel a lot better about myself. And then, and then after two weeks, I'm like, you're in control. Why not fully? <laughs> but, but the only reason I fully fucking broke it was in 2019 for my brother's Christmas is because they were both finally over 18. I was like, I'm going to take you to Amsterdam. Uh, we're gonna get fucking stoned as fuck and have the time of our lives. We did that a couple of weeks ago. We went and, Aye. Uh, yeah, had some pot. It's it's the best. And then COVID happened, so obviously for two years I couldn't take my brothers to Amsterdam. And then my rescheduled tour dates were in January, and I'm just uh, like, do I? I love sober Jan. I do it every year, uh, and I respect people that fucking do it. But I do hate people that are so committed that they're blind to that. Like one day, like their partner gets a promotion at work, and they're like, ah uh ah. -uh. Not not celebrating with you. We've been trying for a baby for five years. Too late, bitch. I don't care how pregnant you are. It's January 18th. I'm not celebrating. I mean, if you find out you're pregnant, you probably shouldn't yeah. be drinking don't to celebrate. <laughs> no, okay. you know, I don't... <laughs> you you fucking pollard at me? Yeah. I mean, as the dad, you've got to, hey, uh, oh, no, you can't, can you? Yeah. <laughs> I've got to wet the baby's head. It's still wet. It's inside wet the of me. There's no... <laughs> Do you reckon uh, Ketterman's good if you're pregnant, though? Yeah. What are you saying? It's the pickaxe man. <laughs> <laughs> right, ignore him. Could you Google that, Finn? Is Ket <laughs> yeah, is Ketman good for unborn babies? Let's do it quick. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to say no. Mate, we love Amsterdam. The special's out now, isn't it? This is going out... Kind of. If you're watching it Hang on, Friday, when's this? this so, no, 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 no. special's no, no. going out Friday the 10th. Yeah, this yeah. is going out. This is next week's episode. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah. Be out on Friday. Friday, the 10th of February, the Amsterdam special. Watch Carl get so high now. I'm off the pod. for eight minutes. Did you? It was did you more partake? than eight minutes. It felt like more. It did. Did you partake? I did shrooms the whole time. Oh, really? Had a, a really jolly, jolly time. But you're, I, I'm not, unlike Carl, Adam, you're not inexperienced to those drugs, really. It's been you? a long time since I've shrooms, like 15 years since I've had shrooms and yeah. 10 years since I've had a pill. I've done a little bit of cocaine. Uh, but, but you know that part of your brain. So when it's awoken from its slumber, you're not like, oh. Well, last time I had a pill, it was too intense, way too strong. And I ended up sitting and watching a club night go by. And just as I got over that, you know when it's overwhelming? Yeah. Uh, both physically and mentally. It was just too strong. And I was like, oh, cool. I've got a bit of energy. And they were on the last like 10 minutes of the club night. So I was just fucking bouncing around an after party. <laughs> um, mushrooms, I know you can't go weird on people. Like, oh, did you like have a weird... I don't think you can on shrooms. You just get really giggly. Everything's fun. You feel like the fuck... You feel like a marshmallow man. It's really, I love it. It depends on the mushrooms you have. The ones you have, they're like the little dotty ones, but like the they're ones, truffles, aren't they? Yeah the, yeah, the big ones that look like mushrooms, like they can be really bad. The portobellos. Yeah. Um, well, the ones I had felt fucking brilliant. And I, because I, I'm really fussy, I tried as a former pillhead, I was like, cool, I don't have to chew this. I'll just get a bit of water. We did it while you were losing your mind. I was out on the street <laughs> going, because they were so lumpy and they smell horrible. And, and so then earthy. someone went, chew yeah. them because it releases the, yeah. psilocybin. the psilocybin quicker. So the first ones, and I'd had a good chunk of them, I just swallowed them straight and nothing happened for three hours. And it was weird. He had Carl, gone and come back. Carl, this whitey, I was I potted was in. I was baked. Like, oh my God, they kicked in when we were watching a sex I've show in Amsterdam. I've been blazing me. Oh. Yeah, oh. blazing squad they called Her me. Her pussy's that. melting. That's oh not the shrooms, Oh my dad. God, it was the cringiest, stupidest sex show ever. It was incredible. The bounce went, oh, lads, you want to shit at the front? So we were like, ah, oh, this will be funny. And that's the bit where all of the slow digestion of those truffles hit. The strippers got some Asian lads on stage to dance, and I have never <laughs> laughed so much. It was the and no one's making I've me ever. laugh. I was like, Carl's going to be thinking this is so funny. And that was making me laugh. And I kept looking back at Carl. And because I was tripping, not tripping, but like, I was. So and, and afterwards, he was like, Yeah, it was so it was funny. Yeah. In no, my head, I was like, It was so. Uh, you, you, I, I watched you. Yeah. You, your mouth was open for 20 minutes. <laughs> so fucking just, up. Just trying to catch the spray. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh my God. That was a depressing section. So shroom, just shrooms yeah. for me, it was brilliant. I, but because I had, I'd taken so many in the day, think, doing that classic drug thing of like, come on, where I need to get high. Uh, and, and, we and all went to a KFC. They ordered a KFC, which I think took 25, 25 minutes. minutes to it took four hours for me. Yeah. <laughs> and then went home of so, so high. 
Like just, but I, I can ride it out. But like you say, I've done it before. I know you're going to be fine. So I just enjoyed I, the headspace. I got in bed that night, think because when we walked back, I felt fine. But when I got in bed and lay down, I realized I was still blazing. All right. <laughs> I, I, I that, like... was, that was at 12 o'clock. You smoked at four. <laughs> <laughs> the, o- the only time I've ever done the Amsterdam truffles was uh, me and Tom Horton went over when we were about 24. And obviously we did a day of just smoking weed. And he's like, let's try the truffles. So we get some. It's like take half a pack each. And we go into like the bulldog. And I do the thing that you, oh, I chew, right? I'm like, just chew because it breaks it up. It'll go down easy, and it's this horrible fucking earthy taste. Yeah, it's not nice. And like, I'm trying to put, pour it down with fucking water and everything. And also, there's like a 20 minutes where, man, it, like it's a fucking mushroom. So your body's like, what the fuck is this? Maybe this isn't good for it to be in your body. You've kind of just got to breathe through, make sure you don't throw up, because if you throw up, it's out of your fucking body. And But I'm getting like the, uh, uh, Tom's like, don't throw up, because if you throw up, Oh, we yeah. don't have any money for it anymore. And like you, you won't be high. And I'm like, I'll be good, I'll be good. I just need some fresh air, right? Fresh air will do me good. I walk out into the lobby, right? And the fresh air hits my nose from an open door. And my body just goes, perfect, spew. And like I properly oh. hurl. But I do this thing where I just close my mouth. My fucking uh, cheeks oh. Oh. fell up like a fucking chipmunk. Right? I sort of cover my mouth and I go, you are 30 feet away from the lob- <clears throat> the door. This is a nice establishment, and it's not, but it doesn't deserve sick on it. I'm like, just swallow it down, and then the canal's there. And I swallow it down, and I'm like, great, and I take two more steps, and my brain, ever my best friend, goes, did you just swallow sick? (laughs) And my my brain went, I think we did. And I fucking run out this fucking door, and like Team America, (laughs) spew over like a little group of Asians with their flag so they can find each other, like a little rainbow over the fucking top of them. Everything comes out of my fucking system. Tom comes out, he's like, are you okay? And I'm like, I mean, I feel heaps better to be honest with you. He's like, well, let's get you some more, just so I'm not doing this alone. And I'm like, absolutely go fuck yourself. Enjoy your trip, man. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna get high. So got a spliff and we're walking around like the art museums. And he's like, the walls are melting. I'm like, shut the fuck up, man. No, they're not. Like, let's just go look at some fucking- We yeah. went to the art museum. The walls melted for me and then he's <laughs> telling you that's for saying. We went to the art museum. The worst yeah. moment of my entire life happened in the Van Gogh museum. We're not gonna say what it was, but I, I've it's got- on, Is it on the special? Yeah. Oh, I've yeah, got yeah. no public cringe. You know that, you've seen that. I wanted the hole in the floor to eat me up. Oh yeah, Adam. me and Carl were playing a game, and Carl lost. Adam won that game. I lost. He's a I was in a different part of the gallery, <laughs> looking at a painting. I heard it happen and just sort of went. <laughs> <laughs> it was like a window, and I just had to sort of look out. <laughs> okay. oh. I'm so high. I heard what was going on. If the window had a, a, a like, he was on a different floor, it, by the way. I would have just walked out the window like, oh, that's me done. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my God. Uh, I'm a big fan of Amsterdam. I think you could do it without just get like, I felt like there's so much of an amazing city. It's we didn't really yeah. see. We saw yeah, yeah, 10% yeah, yeah. of it. Yeah. If, yeah. Yeah. If, that. if you, the, I, I think the locals also like, I mean, all fucking locals hate all tourists wherever you go in the world. But like in Amsterdam, they're like, they waste so much of the city. Like they only stay in this 10% and then the rest of, man, we got a fucking canal boat uh, during like November. And like, even even though you can buy weed in a fucking store, because of the way this country is, it still feels like weird to like smoke weed outside. So we're on this canal and we've got like uh, blankets around us and we get the fucking joint out and we're trying to hide it. And we're like, who the fuck are you? No they're, all, they're only used to stoned British cunts drinking cheap wine on this fucking river. Yeah. It's, you know, if, I don't think we'll ever get fucking- We got drink. a pop boat as well. We got a smoke yeah. boat. Aye, it's yeah. class. It's really, yeah. Man, it's, yeah. it's such a stunning, uh, so did, did you end up going to, did you go to Anne Frank's? We read aloud. Dan wouldn't let us go. He didn't trust us. He didn't, because we've done that. In the when you watch the special, <laughs> patreon.com slash have a word pod, that watch the bit in the Van Gogh Museum, right? Watch that bit where I would have, if the glass <laughs> wasn't there, ended my own existence. <laughs> Hi, looking at sunflowers. And tell me why I didn't want to go to Anne Frank's house with these two Fucking animals. Yeah, but you're allowed to be an, you're allowed to be loud and erratic now. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. No, not this loud. <laughs> <laughs> oh 
In, we did the new camp. We went to Barcelona for the rugby special. We went to the new camp. We paid about 180 euros each for the exclusive, like, you're the swanky cunt tour. And there's a bit where you get to stand on the fucking thing in the press conference room. So everyone gets up. Adam gets up. Can, we you, asked. can, you, uh, can you talk about what's going on? No, I'm not talking about that. I went, oh, I'll have a go. Carl goes, uh, will you answer the allegations of being a paedophile? <laughs> that loud. The room is full of people. Just families going, oh. oh. Imagine that on shrooms. Shoot me in the fucking head. 